Hey everyone, Bruce here, back with another uh, example of a while loop combined with a try accept and some other good stuff, okay? So I have, uh, I have a uh, lot of windows open. I have this file called cars.txt, okay? There it is. It's got a lot of cars uh, in it, auto manufacturers, okay? So uh, in prior modules, in prior weeks in the course, right, we... When we opened a file, we read all the lines at one time, and that put it all the lines in a list variable. Well, guess what? When you have lots of lines in a file, like millions of them, the, that way you learned to read it all in at once and then loop through, it, it's not going to work. So let me, let me show you what's going on here. Okay? So I have a main function, and I call the main at the bottom. And then I try something here. Actually, let me just try cars.txt. I got ahead of myself. So we're going to open the file and assign it to a variable called file. Okay. Then we're going to do something called a priming read. We're going to try to read the first line from that file. Okay. File.readLine and assign that to a variable called data. And then if there's data there, right, this condition will be true. We'll say while you have data, print out the data and then um, read the next line from the file and go back to the beginning of the loop here uh, and keep doing this until there's no more data, okay? Now, I enclosed all this logic in a try except. So, you know, if there is a problem with the file, then um, let us know. So watch, let me run it. It should run fine now. It should. There it is. There, There's all the data. And yeah, I need to uh, trim off the the new lines here, but watch this. Say I change it to cars too, right? And I say run, run module. Ah, uh, something went wrong because the file isn't there, okay? So again, this is called a priming read before you enter the loop. Then you enter the loop, print out the data, and keep reading data until this becomes quote unquote false, until the loop can't execute anymore, and then just uh, exit out. Oh, the other thing too, uh, I imported a library called sys, S-Y-S, and then if I do get an exception, uh, I just exit the program, sys.exit, open, close, parenthesis. Okay, that's a nice, graceful way of ending a program. Okay, hope this video helped. Take care.